Welcome back to the channel. We picked up this laundromat. It's in Wisconsin. And it's kind of rough. Needs some cleaning. And it's got a lot of equipment out of order. Got a kids area. And a lot of top loaders. And a lot of out of order signs. And the snack machine's usually empty. Pop machine's usually empty. That's an easy fix. A lot of signs around. Well, most of them are out of orders, but. one of these changers work and then there's washer lids covering like as a drywall patch but we'll get it fixed up there was a larger soap machine This must be part of this. And then these locks have been drilled out. And soap's a dollar, which that's what it costs to buy it. So we'll have to adjust the prices there and then add bounce. Bounce is one of the, Bounce is the second best or, or the best seller. And the security cameras, they aren't working. So we're on the phone with them and it should be broadcast on that television screen too. And that's about a two hour phone call we're working on right now because we call another country. It's uh, Swan. Swan brand, I think. And we got quite a bit of cleaning done. And we'll start working on the repairs. This is pretty simple. They said this hasn't worked for a year. Looks like it's a coin jam. It's pretty clean now. Storage closet starting to get organized. Clean. And I don't know if you can hear it, but the radio. Got the radio going through the speakers. Some nice music, some family music. And
Gas ke? Gas ke? Pak ini lah. Eh, pasang lagi. Right now, your ignition box is not getting any power to even say to even fire. But everything over here says all your doors are shut, your airflow switches open, shut, and everything else is good. Well, I'm surprised I didn't just kill the whole dryer. Okay, I'll have to get behind it. The doors open around, okay. Okay, that's the airflow switch wire. It comes back to that, so that's all good. So I need to test them two wires going to that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't even know if any of that's to that. I have to match up to that one. That's an old contactor. Okie dokie, there's power in. Oh yeah, yeah, this is, uh, both of them are missing fans, fan motors, and housings and everything, and belts. brackets. They're missing belts. This one's actually missing the whole idler assembly too, where that's at. So this one might not be getting fixed. It might just take a lot to do it type of thing. Yeah, I don't know if you had enough parts or, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm sure Ben might got used motors and stuff, but. Maybe we'll tackle him last. Yeah, it's gonna be, that's the last, that's that one, yeah. But... Is that the high limit sensor? Yeah, sure. Your stove limit or whatever. I can't remember that's a high. I can't remember which one's which. That's basically if they had say so the vent was too filled or you had too much stuff in, the flame stands up. And then it takes that out so it doesn't just burn the whole top of your machine. Not easy to get to. So it's to. like, that's just, I got short arms. Reset. Is that all it was? Well, let's give it a try, it huh? It was popped. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even think it'd be resettable. <sighs> you know, type of thing. I was not expecting it to be resettable. It's kind of hidden in there between the wires. Yeah, and sitting back in there, I fucking, you can't see that. I just heard it's a regular little. All like right. Shut back in there, and oh, that my. might might fix it. Easy win, maybe. Yeah. Since it's just not reading it. Oh, hopefully, we'll put that back together. Oh, I'll get that off. We'll get that screwed back in. This and then mess it up. Hey, look at we get a light on your thing or bottle now. Wow. That's a good pull. I mean, I did clean some of the windscreen out of it. That's a good. That's a good pull. I don't see nothing wrong. That should be tripping that out. 
Because I was going to ask that. I mean, if you got a whole full dryer that stains up that because you've got enough airflow. Maybe got, it was all If you got the lint screen all plugged, or you know, the lint screen thing done, mm -hmm. it would stain up the flames. So I'd say that's good. All right. I don't, I mean, I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but I would say the flow, the pull, I don't see nothing wrong with it, you know, take the thing. We're up there, and we got nothing there. Yeah, you got nothing now. Why is it blowing the fuse? I don't know. But that fuse right there in the back, that one's blown. So we'll flip off the power. There's some fuses. We'll change the fuse and see what happens when I turn it back on. We'll test her out. Looks good. Nothing. See size. We don't want to overdo it. Blew the fuse immediately. That's why they were back there freaking changing all things and stuff. The black fuse runs on B7. Yeah, that comes in from the back. It goes in the bottom. Comes right on into that fuse holder, then powers all the computer and everything else. So yeah, it's pretty much your power straight in that fuse. That's your control circuit, I think. Yeah, okay. Then move that one What'd there. you do different? I unhooked this wire. This is this oh, your black wire come motor? in. This is your wire that comes off the fuse. This is your hot wire feeding your computer. This is the wire that feeds the transformer and stuff in the back, I'm pretty so sure. So if it doesn't blow the so fuse, So if I put it on, bad. it should be possibly then the motor's back. This should, you know, kind of separate if it blows instantly. Then that's telling me maybe the computer's back. They can blow out that. I can go through and screw in the freaking fuse block and put the fuse in properly. They still feel like it's fitting in there, right? Feel like it hit that screw. To fix the problem, we'll just put a screw through the middle. Make sure it can't pop. Let's see, do I get a flatter head screw in here? Oh, hey, look at that one clips in. Now, I guess we'll find out. So, the black wire on the transformer is now unplugged. So, that should kill any of the power to the back. Hey, look at there. Beep, beep, beep on the computer. We have power to your computer now. DSFL. Now that's a power issue to the computer board, like a low voltage issue. That's the same issue you had over there. Which makes me wonder is this other fuse blown? Total voltage. I don't know enough about these overall. Let's see. Ground wire. Yes. Keep on beeping at you. That one. This one in. See what it does. I don't know why this one keeps on falling off. And that's the computer that was in the. A lot of these doors are plastic and they're cracked. Do a temporary fix.
Motor kicked out. That's a bad motor. And it comes in, it's a little freaking. I mean, as far as I know, that's what's going to be. That's the bushing's really shot. I mean, not bad. It ain't that freaking bad to be having a kick. So that's a motor. Motor. All right. Yep, won't even kick on, it's still tripped. Uh, this why was the test from him. Spin. Get this in the spin. Oh, motor just clicked back onto this one. 